All right, this is probably gonna be one of the lowest quality vids I ever put out, but I need to get this video out because we're about 35 hours away from NFL football and I need to get this video out. So I wanted to do a Green Bay Packers regular season record prediction. Uh, I've just been really busy and I haven't had a whole lot of time to get to it. So I'm gonna rush this video out. It's super low quality, I apologize for that, but I need to get it done. So I have a Packers schedule here in front of me. Uh, I've kind of already run through it. I have a general prediction of how I think the Packers are going to do this year. Uh, each year of the Packers regular season under Coach LaFleur, they've had 13 wins. They went 13-3, and 13-3, and 13-4. And I think they keep that going this year as well. I think they'll win 13 games, go 13-4. and four. Um, They might have a one seed, but probably a two seed. There are a couple of good teams in the NFC that could snag that one seed, but I think the Packers will be one of the top seeds again this year in the NFC. So starting off the year at Minnesota this Sunday, uh, September 11th at 325, um, that game I feel could go either way. However, I do think that Green Bay will win that game because I think the Green Bay defense is better uh, than the Vikings defense. So I think, I think that one is a win for the Packers. Um, the next week, September 18th, that one is against the Chicago Bears on Sunday Night Football. That one, I feel, is also a win. Um, I, I, do I really need to explain more? It's the Chicago Bears versus Green Bay Packers. For the past, like, 13 years, Green Bay has dominated that rivalry. Uh, Sunday, September 25th, Week 3 at Tampa Bay, I think the Packers do end up losing that game. Is there a path for victory there? Absolutely. And there's three weeks... Uh, yeah, just over three weeks left. There could be some injuries. I, I never wish injury upon anyone, but there could be some injuries that affect the outcome of that game either way. Um, so like I said, I think the Packers could win that game. However, it is in Tampa Bay, so I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers do win that game. The next week, Sunday, October 2nd, against the New England Patriots, I think the Packers win that game. It is an afternoon game in Green Bay. Um, Patriots, I think, will be a good team, but I think the Packers are just better this year. The next week, Sunday, October 9th, that one, that game is being played in London. The Green Bay Packers take on the New York Giants. Um, even though it is in London, even though it's being played at 8.30 a.m. our time here in the central time zone here in America, I think the Packers win that game. Um, who knows, maybe the travel throws it off a little bit, and I don't think either team, either team will play as great as they probably should. However, I think the Packers are going to win that game. That's just, there's just a skill difference there. The next week, Sunday, September or Sunday, October 16th against the New York Jets. That game is played in Green Bay. That is a 12 o'clock game. Uh, I've, again, I think the Packers win that game. The Jets, um, they had a pretty good offseason. I think they drafted fairly well. However, they're just not at the level of Green Bay yet. The Jets might be two years away from being in a playoff mix, but they're just not there yet. The next week, Sunday, October 23rd, week 7, they play at Washington to play the uh, newly dubbed Washington Commanders. That's a 12 o'clock game. Um, again, I think the Packers win that game. Washington, uh, their defense might be okay, but other than that, I, there's just, again, skill issue. Um, okay, the next week, Sunday, October 30th, the day before Halloween, this one is going to be a good game. The Green Bay Packers travel to Buffalo to take on the Buffalo Bills on Sunday Night Football. Um... I think this game could go either way, however, being in Buffalo, and Buffalo is a Super Bowl favorite this year, I think Buffalo wins that game, um, sorry, uh, Buffalo, I think they win that game, uh, that should be a really good game though, it might be one of the games of the year, but that has yet to be seen, you know, it's halfway into the season, again, injuries could play a factor and all that stuff, um, but yeah, I think the Packers lose that game, but it should be a great game. Next week, Sunday, November 6th, the day before my birthday, the Green Bay Packers travel to Detroit to take on the Lions. Um, I think the Packers win. However, the Lions, they're, I think, in my opinion, could be a sleeper team this year. They're not going to make the playoffs, but I think their over-under is set at, like, five and a half games, and I'm going to take the over on that. I think the Lions are going to be better than what most people think. Again, I don't think they're going to be in the playoff mix per se, but they should be, you know, a decent team that could play spoiler at the end of the season. Um, like I said, I think the Packers are going to win that game, but could they lose it? Possibly. So there's that one. Uh, week 10, Sunday, November 13th, the Green Bay Packers play an afternoon game at home against the Dallas Cowboys. Um, I feel like that game's going to be hyped up for no reason. The Cowboys are always overhyped. Sure, they might be a decent team, and maybe they do put it together. Um, oh, that's also Mike McCarthy's return to Lambeau Field, so we'll see if he gets cheered or booed 
I don't know, he won a Super Bowl, so I'd cheer him, I guess, but then you root against him for the game. We'll see what happens there. But that's kind of the storyline of that game. I think the Packers win. Um, I don't know, maybe Dallas plays spoiler or something, and it, I don't know, maybe Green Bay has a bad game, but I just don't see it happening. I think Green Bay wins that game. Uh, and then the Packers have a short week that week to kick off week 11 on Thursday Night Football against the Tennessee Titans. That game is at home. I think Green Bay wins that game. Tennessee should also be a decent team, and Derrick Henry is an absolute beast. Uh, I mean, if, as long as your Green Bay Packers defense can hold Derrick Henry to less than 100 yards, I think Green Bay wins that game easily. Uh, okay, then they have a long break, and then week 12 they have a Sunday night showdown in Philadelphia. Um... Again, that could be a game that the Packers lose. Philadelphia, uh, they they might be better than what people think they're going to be. Then maybe they make a wild card this year. Um, I know the Packers played them a couple years ago and they lost, even though they should have won. So we'll see. I mean, it, again, it could be a game that they lose, but I think they win that game. And then the next week they travel on Sunday, December fourth. The Green Bay Packers travel to the Chicago Bears to take uh, or. They, they travel to Chicago to take on the Bears. Sorry. Um, that one is a, a noon game, and again, I think the Packers win. There's just skill issue there. The The Chicago Bears offensive line is made up of loaves of bread, basically. I don't, I don't can't think of any other better comparison. I'm not a comedian, but that's basically what I can think of. Their offensive line is horrible. Justin Fields is going to be running for his life, and he doesn't really have any real receivers to throw it to. Uh, week 14, the Packers have a bye week, and then on, um, <clears throat> excuse me, they have a bye week, week 14, and then week 15, the Packers will uh, finish off week 15 at home against the defending Super Bowl champion Los Angeles Rams on Monday Night Football. Um, it, yeah, that's one of those games where I think either team could win. Um, I mean, the Packers have had the Rams number for the past few years. I'm going to say the Packers win this game, especially being at home on Monday Night Football. Um, you know, Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers don't lose at home all that often, so I think the Packers win, uh, but of course we'll see what happens. That should also be a really good game this season. And then on Christmas Day, Sunday, December 25th, the Green Bay Packers travel to Miami to take on the Dolphins. That is a noon game. Um, like, I think the Packers are going to win that game, and I don't know, maybe with maybe Tua Tagovailoa uh, kind of puts it together. This is towards the end of the year, so we'll have another, almost another full year of development. So maybe he becomes pretty decent and develops that chemistry with Tyreek Hill. Um, I, I don't know a whole lot about Miami's defense. I don't think it's horrible, but I don't think it's in the top 10 or top 15. So I think the, I think the Packers are going to win that game, but I don't know. It could go either way. And then to finish off the year on uh, New Year's Day, Sunday, January 1st, the Green Bay Packers have a home game at 325 against the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, I think they're going to win that game. Uh, again, it should be a decent game. Green Bay Packers, Minnesota Vikings rivalry has been pretty good the last few years. Um, but yeah, I think the Packers are going to win that game. And then for the last game of the season on January 7th or 8th, that has yet to be determined, the Green Bay Packers play a home game against, a, against the Detroit Lions. Uh, at this point in the season, the Packers have you know anywhere between 11 to 13 wins already. So, and they probably have a playoff spot locked up, and if their seating is decent enough and they're happy with getting, you know, a one, two, or three, if they're locked into those spots, they'll probably rest the starters. Jordan Love will probably get a start. Uh, Alan Lazard and Randall Cobb probably won't play. Some of the defensive starters might rest too, or maybe they play the first half like they did last season. Um, but that could be a game I could see the Packers losing. If, if they have a playoff spot locked up, there's no point in having your starters play and risk them getting injured. Uh, but anyway, that's my season prediction for the Green Bay Packers this year. Again, I apologize. This is a very low-quality, rushed video, um, but I need to get it out because, like I said, we're about 35 hours away from NFL football, and I need to get this done. So, um, yeah, Green Bay Packers about 13-4, and four, uh, hopefully a first seed, but then again, it, the bye didn't work out so well last year, so, you know, maybe a second or third seed wouldn't be so bad either. Uh, but, of course, that uh, we'll see what happens at the end of the year. And um, hopefully I can get a uh, week one prediction video out for you guys. Uh, but again, I don't want to get ahead of myself because I am pretty busy. So I'll do that if I can. Uh, sorry if I don't. Uh, but anyways, uh, that's all I have for today. Uh, 13 and 4. It sounds pretty good to me. And yeah, 